So the second method on getting realistic terrain in Magical Voxel is to do it through Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open our file. In my case, I saved my height map in desktop, so it's just right here. Open it. And right now, we're going to go over here to the Slice tool. If it's not selected, it most likely, when you open Photoshop, it most likely would show the Crop tool. Just hover over the Crop tool, right click, go to Slice tool. And then you're going to go over to the height map, right click, divide slice, and you're going to divide it both horizontally and vertically. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it at two, both horizontally and vertically. Hit OK. And then we're going to File, Save for Web. Verify that it's saved as a PNG 24. It'll hit Save. And then I'm just going to save it into desktop. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and open Magical Voxel. Minimize that. And then Photoshop will save your sliced images in a folder called Images, as you can see right here. You can open this up, and you can see those four slices have been cut up each into um, in each image basically uh, depending on how many slices you have so if you cut it four by four it's gonna have 16 here because I did uh, I cut it two horizontally and two vertically there's only four I'll show you what these mean in a second let's go ahead and go to the world mode and delete this cube and we're gonna transfer each image one by one in chronological order so we'll just drag and drop like that. Oops. One very important thing is to make sure your palette is in the second uh, configuration. Otherwise the height map will not transfer properly. So let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and orient this. Okay, now that we're done importing and orienting the height map into in Magic of Voxel, you want to make sure the height map in Magic of Voxel matches that of the height map. The original height map we made from World Painter. So you can see I have them side by side. I in this case, I for simplicity, I combined it into a group. But if we were to go into that group, you could see that they're each cut up into segments, like from Photoshop. You could see here. This is very important because otherwise if this was oriented, let's say, down down here and this was up here, it would not match. So yeah, just make sure you have the height map oriented the right way and you go into each individual square and make sure the height, uh, there's actually height on the z-axis. Okay, now that's done, we can go ahead and give the command excess height on each of these objects. And to leave, in, magic, in this new version of Magical Voxel, in order to leave an object and enter a new one, you can just click outside of the cube by double clicking the left mouse button. And then to go into a new uh, another object, you double click on the object you want to go into. So I'm going to go into here, double click. So as you can see, this method of importing the height map is just like what we did previously in the first method. Although the first method, the entire height map was limited to only 256 by 256. But now each of these cubes, or I'm sorry, each of these objects are 256 by 256. So this is 512 by 512 
which is pretty impressive because if you go back into Photoshop and undo these slices, you could theoretically give this however many slices you want and each um, each of these cubes here will be 256 by 256 voxels. The only tedious part is you have to manually drag them in to photo uh, to magic of voxel like we did with the four slices. But in theory, you can have a very large uh, height map in magic of voxel using this method. So with that all said, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.